Dying Orange here for Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to do this annoying orange effect in HitFilm Express for free. So this effect has been requested in a wildly popular fashion for a long time and I have never even heard of this annoying orange uh, character and so after receiving several of these requests I finally went out and looked online and quickly discovered why I had never heard of this character. This clearly is not something that I personally would ever watch but apparently it is ridiculously popular and this effect like I said has been requested a lot. This is actually a really super easy effect to do. So first you, you want to uh, record yourself um, making the annoying orange uh, whatever and then you basically just want to go to um, wherever it's going to start I'm just going to trim this up and then I will uh, drag this and make it into a, a new composite shot so there is the actual um, video itself then what you're going to do is you're going to um, mask out some things. But before you do that, uh, you want to try to record this as um, still moving as you possibly can. But the problem is it doesn't matter. You're going to move. Uh, so we need to stabilize this. So I'm going to start by creating a new track, clicking the little plus icon in the tracks uh, drop down menu, insert tracker. I'm going to use my let me expand this a little bit and zoom in using my mouse wheel. I'm going to grab this tracker box and I am just going to put it over my eye. And then I'm going to hit the uh, track forward button. And you can see that I did move around a lot while doing this. I didn't move around a huge amount, but I moved around enough that it would be obvious uh, that, you know, the, the mask would be moving. So I'm trying to... Um, you know, make sure that that doesn't move. Instead of a purpose of transform, I'm going to use a purpose of stabilize, and then I will click apply. So now when we go back out to the viewer, you can see that if I place my mouse right there, the background is moving, but my mouse is not. And that's the key. My eye is frozen solid right there. So that's what I'm looking for. Now that I have that, I can go ahead and mask it. I'm going to go ahead and rename this one I. And I'm just going to use the mask tool. I will click and hold that and then grab the ellipse mask. The Also, I could use the E uh, hotkey. I'm just going to put my mouse in the center and drag. And if I hold the uh, down the Alt key, then it will center it for me. And I'm going to go about like that, maybe. Opening up the mask shape properties i will go ahead and increase the feather strength somewhat and now i can go ahead and scale to fit and i'm just going to go ahead and find a picture of an orange and drag it in okay that orange is a little too big so let me just right click transform and fit to the frame height so that it fits here and now i can go ahead and mess with this eye let me re-grab the selection tool First thing I'll do is open up Transform Properties and just scale it up maybe a bit. Uh, and then I will position it where I think it should go here. Okay, so that's one eye. We want that eye to match the coloring of the orange. And what you're going to do is search for an effect called Hue Colorize and drag that onto the eye. And opening that up, you can just use the preset orange because uh, that's basically what it is. If you want to adjust that slightly, feel free. Now I'm going to right click and duplicate that. I can uh, hit Control D or right click and duplicate it. I'll just drag it the other one. So there's two eyes. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click and duplicate that again. But this one I'm going to call mouth. All right. And if I open up my mask property, and I just want to grab that and move it down to where the mouth is. Um, now I can drag that over roughly to about where it belongs. And let me just reposition it. Now I have a mustache, so that creates a little bit of a problem, but it's not terrible by any means. Uh, and so now when we're done, we have this, you know, 
uh, annoying orange effect. It's pretty easy to do. It's not hard at all. And that's basically it in a nutshell. So if you have any questions on how to do this effect, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, Pear, do you think the viewers should like this video? Absolutely. Do you think the viewers should share it with their friends? You bet. Do you think the viewers should subscribe and click the bell icon for notification? Of course! Right on!